In this video, we will see about endodontic instrument standardization. Endodontic instruments, namely files, brooches, rasps, may have a different standardization earlier. Uh, but uh, after Ingle and Levine gave, gave some set of standard rules to be followed, it is usually the same for all the instruments. Here we will consider a file uh, where um, the working space is usually of uh, 16 mm in length. Therefore, the diameter at the tip of the instrument is considered as D0, whereas the diameter after the 16 mm is that is the end of the working space is called D16. Usually, the length of the instrument can be 21 or 25 commonly used instruments, or for some uh, teeth where with longer root uh, like uh, canine we have uh, more than 25 also t3 is the space uh, from uh, d0 3 mm from uh, d0 is considered as d3 initially ingle and levine gave only uh, d0 and d16 and the instruments are numbered usually from 10 to 100 later 6 8 were added and after, apart from 100 till 140 were added from uh, 6 8 we have skipped two numbers 6 8 and 10 from 10 to 60 we have increased by 5 and after 60 we have increased by 10 that is 10 15 uh, 20 till 60 then after 60 70 80 90 till 140 the diameter at D0 is usually expressed in hundredth of the uh, in mm of instrument, that instrument size. That is, if the instrument size is 15, then the D0 will be 15 by 100, that is 0 0.15 mm. Uh, for example, uh, if it is 20, you have 0 0.2 mm at the uh, tip of the instrument as diameter. Similarly, in D16, if the instrument is a 2% taper instrument, that is, there is an increase of 0 0.02 mm increase in diameter for every mm in length. Then at D16, you will have 0.32 mm increase in total diameter when compared to the initial diameter. If D0 is a uh, uh, 0.15 for example you have uh, d16 as 0.32 plus 0.15 which is 0.47 for 2% taper, this is the standardization. For 4%, 6% taper, we have increase in 0.04 or 0.06 mm in a diameter per mm in length as uh, follows. Uh, later um, added uh, specifications include the D3 we saw earlier, that is 3 mm from D0. And the tip angle is usually uh, 75 degree to uh, plus or minus 15 degree. That is the tip angle is at the tip. Uh, and also color coding were given uh, later which is um, usually a repeating set of colors for 6, 8 and 10 you have uh, pink, grey and uh, purple after which a set of colors repeat for example they are the white, yellow, red, blue and green after which black comes so this white, yellow, red, blue, green and black repeats for every set of six instruments from 15 to 40, 40 after which 45 to 60 and after which we saw there is a leap in uh, tens. So 70, 80, 90 till 140. So the, these six set of colors repeat and uh, these uh, color codings are given in the handle of the instrument. To recap, Ingle and Levine standardizations, we have D0 and D16, numbering from 6 to 140, uh, increase in 5s for 10 to 60 and increase in 10s for 60 to 140, diameter at the D0 and D16 and the respective calculations for 2% taper and finally the color coding for each size of the instrument and the angulation at the tip of the instrument. 